A powerful explosion occurred in the apartment on the first floor of a Yerevan building. Eyewitnesses say the cause of this explosion was a natural gas leak and the entire building was damaged by this explosion. There are no casualties or injuries. Rescuers evacuated 14 people. President of Lebanon Michel Aoun will make an official visit to Armenia this week. According to the AMN Daily, President Aoun will begin his state visit in Iraq before making his way to the Armenian capital of Yerevan. Aoun will be joined by several ministers. A 35-year-old Armenian citizen who attempted to transport equipment for cryptocurrency mining in his car was detained at Upper Lars checkpoint on the Russia-Georgia border. The preliminary estimated value of each of the two illegally imported units of equipment is more than $1,700. Sanasaryan Han was returned to the Constantinople Patriarchate of the Armenian Apostolic Church. The Turkish Court of Cessation overturned the decision of the first instance court that the Sanasaryan Han building should remain under the management of the country's funds. Patriarchate General Vicar Archbishop Aramatesian had appealed to the court in 2014 demanding the return of this famous building to the Patriarchate. The Dutch Parliament will hold debates on the Armenian Genocide motions this week. Author of the motions, MP Joel Wardewin, said, One motion urges a state minister to attend the genocide commemoration in Yerevan, and the other requires the Dutch Parliament to recognize Armenian genocide. Both have a majority in Parliament. Dollar tumble does not stop in Armenia. The USD exchange rate against the Armenian drum comprised 480.58 drums per dollar in Armenia on Thursday. This is down by 0.23 drums from Monday. The euro rate went down by more than 3 drums comprising 593.23 drums.